Hey everyone, I'm Shay Love, and welcome to, or welcome back to, Pearls from Shay, where I teach you practical and spiritual pearls to help you live a life that shines with purpose. Please hit that subscribe button and join the family. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy spaghetti with homemade marinara sauce. This recipe is very simple, but indeed very delicious. In my opinion, once you learn to make your own marinara sauce, you will most likely never want to purchase store-bought spaghetti sauce again. Okay, let's get into this recipe. First, you will want to rinse all of your vegetables and get them prepped for cooking. Next, you will want to go ahead and cook your ground beef and add in your seasonings. You will need about two pounds leaner ground beef. I like to use Cajun seasoning by Tony Saturé, which is one of my go-to seasonings for most of my meals. Then add some paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, and a small amount of kosher salt. Not too much. You can also use fresh garlic or minced garlic if you have that on hand. Stir in all the seasoning. I like to use a meat masher to blend the seasoning and cook the meat more thorough. If you don't have one, you can find it on Amazon for about six bucks. Once the meat is cooked very thoroughly, you can start adding in your veggies. And since I used a leaner beef, there's little or no grease to drain. Next, chop or mince your onion and add it to the skillet. Stir it to blend. Note I used half of the onion in the meat and saved the other half for the marinara sauce. Be sure to carefully mince your onion to a finer consistency and remember to take your time with this process. Stir the minced onion along with the meat as it continues to cook. Next, chop or mince two large bell peppers very carefully and you want to try to mince it to get it to a finer texture. I like to take my time with mincing veggies, as you can see here. Mincing is quite a skill that it took me a while to learn, but if you take your time very carefully, you can get your veggies minced as you like. Oh, and yes, also don't forget to stir the meat and onions as it continues to cook. As you may notice, bell peppers are a little more coarse type of vegetable, and so they require a little more time to get them to the right texture for your spaghetti. Now you can go ahead and add about one half of the minced bell peppers to your meat and onion mixture and stir it very thoroughly. And at this very point, you will notice that it smells so, so, so good. Okay, so after you've let it cook and you've stirred it quite thoroughly, then go ahead and cover it and let it simmer on low heat. At this point, you're now ready to make the sauce. First, in a heated saucepan, add some canola oil or vegetable oil. I prefer canola oil because it's better and it's a healthier choice. Then add the onions and bell peppers and stir over medium to low heat. Next, add some kosher salt and some paprika and the Cajun seasoning by Tony Saturé and also some garlic powder. Stir this all together. Then you want to give your bell peppers and onions time to cook until they're tender, maybe about five or six or seven minutes. 
Pay attention as you stir and let them cook and you'll notice when they start to get tender. Once you see that the veggies are cooked to a tender consistency, add in one 14 ounce can of crushed tomatoes and stir everything together. Next, I like to add in some crushed red peppers and some oregano, or you can use Italian seasoning if you don't have oregano on hand. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you wanna cook the sauce on medium heat or medium low, as it will begin to splatter if cooked at too high a heat. Take your time and continue stirring your sauce quite frequently until you'll notice it's heated all the way through. You will also notice the sauce will start to thicken as you continue to stir. Then set it aside, your marinara sauce is ready. Next, you're ready to cook your spaghetti. Boil some water in a large pot and add a tiny bit of kosher salt. Then add in the spaghetti noodles. I prefer thin spaghetti, but you can use regular spaghetti if you prefer. And I always break the noodles in half to make them easier to eat. Carefully stir in the noodles while making sure that all of the noodles are covered in the boiling water. Cook them al dente, which means cook to taste, or according to the packaging directions, which will usually take about five to 10 minutes. Test your spaghetti noodles to see when they are ready. And once they are ready, drain off the water carefully and then place the noodles back in the pot. Stir in a touch of olive oil and voila, your noodles are ready. And to make my family meal even more delightful, I decided to cook some cheese ravioli since we like many different types of pasta. Now I found these in the freezer section at Walmart and they taste really, really good as well. So you could try them out for your family. All you would have to do is simply boil the ravioli five minutes and drain. Now your entire meal is ready. I usually serve this dish on separate dishes so that everyone has the option to make their plate specifically how they want it. And I also serve it with a green, fresh tossed salad and some French garlic bread. And there you have it, your spaghetti is ready. Quick, simple, healthy, and delicious. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more ideas, tips, and recipes. Be blessed and I'll see you in my next video.